That's the annoying thing, though, it isn't is it? It's so annoying. David De Gea could save the Titanic. For <laughs> sake, man. It was. What's up, boys? Today we're going to be doing a play review on Tots Moments. David De Gea, 93 rated objective card. The objective is a bit annoying because it is in squad battles or rivals. You have to, I think, through ball assist in eight times, score five outside the, sh outside the box goals, and then the Nest goal eight times with Premier League players. And then you have to win eight rivals or squad battles games. I did this objective in squad battles because I was doing my icon swaps at the same time. So I would start, I started a, so a, a MLS Brazilian team to do the MLS and Brazilian icon swaps. And then I subbed on Premier League players to get the assists and the goals. And then the wins just counted either way. So it took eight games, which was a fair amount of time. But since I was doing multiple objectives at the same time, it was worth it. But I wouldn't just do the squad battles if you're only doing this and you already have done your, your icon swaps. I would do it in rivals just do it over the long run it did take a fair amount of time doing all the games but i think the card is definitely worth it even if you just you 93 overall this is a really good card he's going to be david de Gea's best card this year and david de Gea is one of the best goalkeepers in real life if you've watched manchester united you know that they would be so much lower in the table than they already are without this guy and that's why he deserves this card even though the man united have pretty much stunk up the season from from the start David De Gea has been there. He has saved them time and time again. But let's just get right into this card, his player review. 6'4". He's right there with the meta goalkeepers with regards to height. He's taller than Lloris. He's an inch shorter than Donnarumma. And that's pretty much all you need to know. He is very, very... Oh, yeah! Good. He is insane. I've used him so many, in a fair amount of games so far. And foot champs and in rivals and he has been absolutely killing it 95 diving is so good with this card he you put him in the right position if you defend well and you make your opponent get bad angles he will save it if your opponent will not score from a bad angle if David De Gea is in goal but you have to know that all goalkeepers do have their quote-unquote goalkeeper moments I didn't ex I didn't see one from David De Gea when I played with him but all goalkeepers do those things where they just they just die the wrong way. They just stand there and do nothing every now and again when EA decides that it's time for you to concede a goal. Additionally, with the basic chem style, he gets plus four. So his diving goes up to 99 and his handling is 91 right now. Handling is pretty good for down to hit. It doesn't really, handling is one of those sets that doesn't impact so much, but it is very good going up to 96 with a plus five with a basic. Basic is, in my opinion, one of the best goalkeeper stats if the goalkeeper has good speed and David De Gea does have good speed. Speed, if you want to boost speed with a goalkeeper that's like 57, 47 speed, that's definitely the option to do a more targeted chem style, but basic gets plus five on every single stat and that is more than enough. Takes the kicking from 86 to uh, 91, which is very good. Compared to the other keepers, his kicking is actually very solid. Donnarumma doesn't have the best kicking, in my opinion, uh, in-game, even though he does have 90 kicking. But Lloris has 75, so he's much better than Lloris with regards to kicking. Uh, same, Van der Sar, he's a bit better than him. And yeah, there's a bunch of other goalkeepers in this game, but I think for the Spanish links, Man United links, you could link him to Flashback Baron, all the Prem center backs that are coming out, very solid. There's not going to be too many other Manchester United links besides the Flashback Baron. If you don't have him, that's a bit of a bummer, but I still think he's worth it because he is one of the most meta goalkeepers in real life and in this game. But biggest thing with him is his is reflex. His diving and his reflex, that's what he's known for. He's known for the making the stops with his feet, the last second dives, last second reflex saves, and it's uh, 96, also goes up to 99 with the basic chem style. You can see in a lot of these clips, he makes last second saves, saves you don't think he's gonna make, where he just jumps off the ground so fast. It's insane. He is insane in this game. He just jumps pretty much everywhere. He's always on the ground. He's always popping up. I pulled the keeper a lot and his speed was good enough to close down the ball. And then also laterally speed with moving him with the right stick. He was able to sort of block off shot, sh shooting lanes and create tough shots for the opponent. That's what, that's what your goalkeeper should do. Your goalkeeper isn't there to save, save you when you're one-on-one, -on -one, when your guy's one-on-one -on, -one on the break. He, he will do that sometimes with the height, with the speed, but that's not what he, that's not where he makes his, his bread and butter. He makes his bread and butter with forcing tough shots, making players just rage after they shoot long shot after long shot and they don't go in. Last stat is positioning. He was positioned pretty well with regards to crosses, coming out for crosses. He had pretty good animations in my opinion. You can sort of tell when a goalkeeper doesn't have good animations when they don't make a, a crazy reflex save. Reflex saves have been really good this year and I think that has to do with both the reflex stat, positioning, and 
the animations as a whole. De Gea has always had good animations in FIFA. The issue is just getting him with a good enough card like this one. Last year, we didn't get a really good De Gea card, I don't think, until the very end of the year. But this year, team of season, Premier League team of season, and we get a solid one. Trait-wise, he is out, what is that, cautious with crosses. That rhymes. But I don't think that's very true. He was not very cautious with those crosses. But the next one, the next trait is 100% true. Saves with feet in real life and in FIFA. You can see in these in the clips that you guys have watched already in this video. If you want to rewind and watch them, there are so many saves with his feet. He just is he just drops to the floor, sticks his leg out, and he pokes the ball wide. I, it was one one distinct clip where he saved the ball, and it just looks so much like what I've seen in real life that it was honestly, I was like, this is how you know this card is elite. This is how you know this card is is so good. And for a free card, I know you have to play squad battles, but for a free card, I think it is very, very useful. Additionally, he is Spanish and Premier League, so there's obviously so many links to get there. Just taking a look at Spanish center backs real quick. There are a fair amount considering that... Um, La Liga team of season has not come out yet. There is obviously the Laporte with strong links, Carlos Pollo strong links, Sergio Ramos with a soft link. And there's not there's not too many other. Nacho Fernandez has a pretty solid card, 89 pace. But there will be some more with La Liga team of season. Yeah, Laporte is the big one. PK if you have an SBC. And obviously there are all the Prem center backs as well. But yeah, boys, that's really going to do it for the video. Let me know if you enjoyed and please leave a like and subscribe. What other players would you like to see on the channel? Team of Season is well underway. We'll be having Foot Champs review, Foot Champs rewards coming soon, stuff like that with the Liga Team of Season coming up this coming weekend. The guaranteed Premier League pack will be coming out soon. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time and peace.